I thank President Jokowi for his steady leadership of Indonesia and his important contributions to the strong relations between our two countries. Your Excellency, President Joko Widodo, Ministers, Ladies and Gentlemen. Uh, may I welcome President Jokowi and his delegation to Singapore. This is our sixth Leaders' Retreat together. There have been many significant developments since our last retreat in Bintan. Indonesia has enjoyed significant success in 2022. Indonesia's G20 presidency delivered a hard-won leaders' declaration and other concrete outcomes, including the Just Energy Transition Partnership and the creation of the Pandemic Fund, which Singapore is happy to contribute to. Our bilateral relationship has made good progress. In Bintan last year, President Jokowi and I witnessed the signing of the Expanded Framework Agreements. These address three long-standing issues between Singapore and Indonesia. There was the agreement on the realignment of the boundary between the Jakarta FIR and the Singapore FIR, the Defence Cooperation Agreement, and the Treaty for the Extradition of Fugitives. I am happy that both sides have now ratified all three agreements. We had discussed these issues many times over an extended period and have come a long way to get here. I thank President Jokowi and his ministers for their leadership and support and hard work in getting the agreements ratified. Singapore looks forward to working with Indonesia to complete the next steps. Last week, we jointly applied for approval from ICAO for the new arrangements under the FIR arranged agreement. Following ICAO's approval, both countries will agree on a date for the three agreements to be implemented simultaneously. Singapore and Indonesia have also deepened cooperation in traditional areas. Our defence ministries reaffirmed our strong bilateral defence ties through the Indonesia-Singapore Joint Update on Defence Cooperation. The SEDF and the Indonesian National Search and Rescue Agency also signed an MOU on, the urban, on, on urban search and rescue. Uh, on Myanmar, we regret we both regretted the lack of progress in ASEAN's five-point consensus. Singapore will continue working with Indonesia and with ASEAN members, plus ASEAN's partners like the UN, to push for the full implementation of the five points of consensus. I thank President Jokowi for his steady leadership of Indonesia and his important contributions to the strong relations between our two countries. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prime Minister Lee. May I now invite His Excellency Joko Bidodo.